Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and we're really only into the summer uh, for about a week now. And we're already starting to see some uh, various problems uh, that might be related to drought. Uh, we even have some things that might be related to bacterial wilt, but we're not quite sure. We're sorting some of those out. I just thought I'd uh, show you a sample that uh, is typical of what we get from a turf that's been stressed for some reason that we're not quite sure what and maybe doesn't have a really strong foliar preventative uh, program that, that includes something like chlorothalonil or even the uh, dicarboxamides like hippodione or vinclozolin. So this is what the sample looks like and you can see there's a, a lot of decline uh, in this area and it, the turf's thinned out quite a bit. And what happens when you have this type of a situation is that you end up with a, a, a lot of organisms that are typical carbon cycling organisms like curvularia, and acrimonium and some other fungi and even though those pathogens are not necessarily uh, effective at attacking a, a healthy plant what tends to happen is that when when you have enough foliage that's been uh, damaged the plant has abandoned that foliage so it's, it says look at uh, there's some we got some stress here I'm gonna just dump this leaf they dump the leaf uh, they cut off the, uh, the vascular system so that there's not a lot of exchange of nutrients or water with that leaf and then that leaf starts to decompose uh, and the normal organisms in carbon cycling start taking over and these are these uh, non-specific pathogens pretty much but when you get a lot of those uh, organisms uh, in the system they can produce enough cellulose that it will start damaging the healthy part of the plant and if the, those leaves touch other uh, other plants uh, the organism can get enough of a foothold that it'll start uh, acting more aggressively pathogenic on the other plants that can't respond very well. So let's just take a look at some of the things that we see on a sample like this uh, to give you an idea of the problems that are there and why when you start to get a heavy stress situation uh, that you're going to want to make some uh, fungicide applications to slow this process down using uh, chlorothalonil is a good choice and if you have curvularia like these samples uh, you'd want to use something like uh, ipridione or vinclozolin. So let's take a look. So here we see those damaged leaves uh, that have been abandoned by the plant and you also see the new uh, growing leaves still seem to be okay. So it looks like an event happened. Uh, the plants dropped a bunch of leaves and fired up the leaves and then the uh, plant is still growing a little bit. Now as we view the sample you can see these dark spots uh, coming off the leaves. Those are the spores of curvularia and we'll take a closer look at those uh, under a compound microscope in a second, but that just gives you an idea of what those uh, spores look like. And the problem is if you get too much of this uh, organism growing in the sample, it'll start moving from those damaged leaves and produce enough uh, material that it'll start attacking the uh, healthy leaf. And you can see that uh, uh, leaf in the top that looks like it's got a little chlorotic spot where the uh, plant is being damaged. And in some cases, like this plant in the middle, we can see that the, both of the leaves that uh, are below the first growing leaf. That's the first tip and then uh, we spread out the uh, the leaf that's uh, attacked by curvularia. You can see that it, it uh, is uh, pretty well uh, being decayed and if uh, we're not careful that just those the enzymatic activity in the plant growing from that base will be able to completely kill that plant. Well if we take a little bit closer look in a compound microscope just to give you an idea of what the spores of curvularia look like, uh, here's an example and uh, the black structure sticking out of the leaf, that's the leaf on the bottom, uh, those black structures sticking out are conidia fours and multiple conidia uh, will be formed on those conidia fours. So the take home story is that if you do have some sort of an event, a catastrophic event that causes you to lose some foliage, uh, consider making an application of a fungicide like chlorothalonil, uh, ipridione, or vinclozolin to slow the decay down. You're not going to stop the decay, but what you want to do is let that decay happen a little bit more slowly over time rather than very rapidly to uh, possibly result in more damage uh, to the plants. This is just the start of the summer. We hope uh, everything will go well and just keep your eyes out for weather conditions that might trip you up.